Hi, this is Paul from paulbrightby.com and this is a video blog, a vlog for my ex Brad Elgo. But I also wanted to bring in the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from TraderFifth.com, which is my proprietary trading software as well. And I wanted to show you how I've been trading Target uh, between earnings um, from the last earnings play and then this recent earnings play as well. Because it's very interesting that you can combine both indicators to uh, get second bites of the cherry and continually trade really good trending stocks, um, which is very important. You need to find good entry strategies uh, that will allow you to continually get in and out uh, on these trends, on these pullbacks. So let's look at um, Target. This is the 195 minute favorite time frame of mine. Splits to trading day are up very, very nicely here. Um, I do trade off the daily as well, uh, but I always like to filter down to that 195 to look for some really good entries. So this is where we are right now. I want to go through both entries and talk about the criteria for both, how they were managed, when they were taking profit and that sort of thing. So first of all, let's zoom in to uh, the previous earnings uh, back in August. Okay. So first of all, we've got an Elliott Wave 4 pullback. This is after earnings. So we get the massive earnings reaction, gap up, and then we get some profit taking. It's orderly profit taking. And this Elliott Wave uh, software likes to see that orderly profit taking, that pullback into our pullback zones. Now, it found support in the green zone. So that's an 85% probability it goes on to hit the automated fifth wave target zone, which it did. We also measure the wave four pullback in regards to the Elliott Wave Oscillator, that's between 90 and 140 in the top of the two subcharts here, which is perfect. Then we look at our false breakout stochastic. You can see during the third wave, we had false breakout dots at the top of the stochastic there. And then during the wave four, the stochastic pulled back against those false breakout bars and crossed over in the oversold zone during that wave four pullback. Now, Imagine this is an elastic band. This is a very, very strong anchor point, these false breakout bars here. If it pulls back against here on a wave four, and we get the 535 looking good, the wave four pulls back into these pullback zones that we, we you know, give those probabilities for, there's a good chance this is going to spring back up to that um, overbought zone there and give us a really good fifth wave trade, which we did. So entry for this fifth wave trade is reasonably aggressive in that we use uh, part of this indicator suite. We use this um, six four moving average high, the, the green moving average, which is, an, which is an advance. OK, so we use the green for longs, the red for shorts. So we're looking to go long outside of this six four moving average high. And for me, 149.27 was the entry uh, because we we tried twice here to get out. It failed. Uh, but then I've got a good point where we've got two failures just above there, above the whole dollar mark for me, $149, to give me an entry. It did enter in there. I then got a five-star buy signal and then a six-star buy signal on my extra algo, showing me and giving me confidence to let this run because this uh, these only occur in very, very high probability um, trade so five and six star we go into the fifth wave target zone uh, and we take profit for me I always take profit in or around that fifth wave target zone because I just don't they're, they're fib levels and sometimes they bounce down this time it came up made new highs and then bounced down again but in, in respect of the pullback a couple of things to note on the pullback here before earnings after the fifth wave we got a higher support level than this previous wave four, which is fantastic. During the fifth wave on the false breakout stochastic on the Elliott wave, we got another false breakout here, denoting strong bullish trends. You see how the stochastic comes back to that overbought zone. It's got the false breakout. It comes back down again. Now we have a potential long on our hands going into earnings. Now, Target's very strong at the moment during this pandemic. Um, you know, the profits are very good. Last earnings was fantastic. Then, obviously, we've not got a fifth wave now. We've moved on. We've traded that. We've made money. Now, 
I get a five and a six star buy signal for my x Brad Algo. I'm looking good because I know the last time this happened, we got a really great move. Yes, I'm entering this trade before earnings, but I have to look at the previous behavior. The earnings during pandemic in August were extremely good. I'm looking for a similar reaction this time. Okay, I'm oversold. I'm against my false breakout on my Elliott Wave indicator sweep. I've already traded it once. I've made money. Guess what? I'm going to go again. I've got this um, five and six star. I want to go on the five star, to be honest, to be quite aggressive. Um, my stop loss is going to be just below this pivot point here. Entry there. So this is quite a wider stop and entry than the previous uh, fifth wave move. Um, but it still, you know, it still gives me a decent risk to reward um, to where I, I expect, you know, gap ups and things like that to go to make these new highs. So stop loss previously was again on the wave four, uh, was below this pivot point on the wave four for that fifth wave move. Again, when I get these signals on the expert algo, I'm also looking for the previous pivot for my stop loss position. There's no rocket science about this. This is where it found support. I need to be just below there with my stop. So there, my entry is 160.06, just above the whole dollar mark. We get this five and six star buy. We get that trigger and we go for it. We then carry it through earnings. We got a great earnings reaction now, just recently. My trailing stop is actually two candles behind now on the 195. So there's only two candles per day because it splits the day into two. I've gone really aggressive now. So I won 200% profit times risk on that previous fifth wave move. So risk 10 grand, win 20 grand there. Uh, risk 10 grand here, I'm already locking in about 11 and a half grand here. One to one is 10 grand there if you risk 10,000 between entry and stop there. So really, really simple, uh, combining both. So Elliott Wave is good for those fifth waves, but Xprat also picks up a lot more trading opportunities as well. Uh, so the fifth wave uh, for that Elliott Wave sequence uh, is a very high probability move and should always be traded. But I also like to combine, and this is why I developed this Xprat algo, because it gives you then further trading opportunities on trending stocks other than that fifth wave. I mean, this could turn out to be a really good bullish move, but what I've done is I've made good money with the fifth wave move. I've now been very aggressive with my trading stop, two candles behind on this. I need to keep an eye on it on Monday pre-market just in case it gaps below that trading stop. I may just adjust it uh, <coughs> accordingly. But again, this was a, a, a vlog to help you understand how I trade how I use that Elliott Wave indicator suite from TradeTheFifth.com, but also how I use my new X brand algo to first give me that confidence in that fifth wave move to be pretty relaxed about trading stops, to allow it to go to that target because I get those X brand algo uh, signals, but then to get another bite at this cherry once we get a pullback to get those X brand signals again to go long. Uh, so hopefully this helps. There'll be more vlogs coming up uh, in the near future and have a great trading day.